bear God in force. So you will never force. Ukiamua ya kwamba sio kwa Friday utalala na ulale na ulale wale wengine wakielekea msikitini utaenda Mungu hawezi push out of your bed and take you to this prayer. If you feel that on a Sunday or a Saturday for seven day Adventist ya kwamba leo siendi na siendi na ulale God will not fish you out of the bed to go no and yet he is happy when you praise him because our life is in the hands of God. Our life is in the hands of God. And he's always with the other people. And he's happy when that which he has built, that which he has created, that which he is sustaining, that which he is nourishing, he is happy to see that prosper. Kila mzazi, maima, anafrahi wakati mtoto wake, anaendelea kuwa masifa mzuri every day. Ni kama yule mfadhili ambaye alifadhili yule kijana wa Islam from Langa Langa who scored a straight. Ebu imagine how that parent who ambaye ni mwadogo na kanipia everything is feeling that in Langa Langa in Nakuru a day school and from the slum scores a straight A. What does that parent feel? I'm not telling you that you don't score A's apart. But how do a parent feel? Mzazi wako, wakati ambapo in the commandments na sheria na amri za nyumbani because everywhere we go there are laws that guide us to do the right things. And let me tell you today as long as you do good, you are not bound by the law. For instance, if you don't get late to come to school nobody will be there to punish you at the gate because you are not bound by the law of lateness because you're not late. Na kama unasoma vizuri, ume attend lectures zako, you are not bound by the law. The law binds those who break them. Dio maana, Yesu Kristo alisema kwamba yule ambaye atakaye kufundisha mmoja wao, hata yeye ni mmoja ya hizo sheria, hata yuko miwa kwa nini? Because God's laws and commandments always guide us to God. They don't guide us away from God. And the moment we follow them, we follow those precepts, then we make the right choices in life. Kwa hivyo ni naomba sana, zile okethi sabazo mmezi chengeneza, na ukambia mwe wako ya kwamba ukependa kuzifuata, utapata matunda yake. Now, this is the time. Actually, we should have celebrated this month before, but today was the appointed time. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Psalms 118, verse 24. Because this was the appointed time to bless our time from Recently, when we opened, the schools opened late this year, Osami Yamitiani and KCSC, but God had appointed ya kwamba to barikisha mako yetu sasa. Na diyo maana naita kila moja wetu, mwanafuzi, kila moja wetu, mwalimu, they have set their objectives. Wanajua ya kwamba tuanza silabi yetu, silabasi yetu sasa, tunaimalizia hapa, kwa sababu tunependa kukamilisha hicho kipini, tuanisha wanafuzi wetu vizu, they have set their objectives. Na si tume set objectives yetu, na wazazi wetu wameset objective sawa ya kwamba hata kama kuna ugumu kwa ajili ya jinsi ambavyo uchumi wetu umedorora anasema nitaenda plan B na plan B ni gani na si yako sasa sina set na sina ajira nitachukua loan kwa meli gurao meli gurao pale ya mama kwa meli gurao I've never had Joseph gurao mimi usikia tu meli gurao ya wanaume nilikuwa naamua naambia wanaume in the parish St Joseph's tufue Joseph go round because akina mama from the other times have had Mary go round okay na sema nitaenda kwa sasa nichukue loan kwa nini kwa sababu angependa objectives zake za kulipa school fees ziweze kuafikiana na objective yako usifukuzwe shule so that you don't lose even one at a time so I think that is good because you are not it and you always be joyful ya kwamba you're doing the right thing. Ningependa tafadhali today is the moment of blessing those choices you're making and those choices have consequences and for St. Mary's we are making the right choices to get the right consequences of the fruit of the work of our labor. Psalm 90 teaches us God bless the work of our hands. From one generation to the next you always guide your people and sustain them. God bless the work of our hands. 
tutaongea ya kwamba wakati ambapo unapewa advice ya jambo fulani si kwamba huyo mtu anakuchukia wakati msazi anakuambia wake up at five you are making a sacrifice of losing your sleep the best thing that you would love to relax so that that sacrifice you make also brings in and bridges something and compensates something that will be important for your future i am in trouble me i am in trouble listen to this i am in trouble with the doctors law sheria using the end of hospital matter hospital i am in trouble because last year to live the sana na graduations the universities na class 8 so i was called for this and me typically coming from a masai eh 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 i love meat red meat that meat Now last year I fisted 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 I forgot the advice of the doctor because he had told me to avoid red meat. Mimi nikasahau kwa sababu gani? Hasa nikavunja sheria ya daktari kwa sababu ya zile sheria zilikuepo na ninaitwa over 20 graduations nikaitwa over 20 celebrations ya class 8 and class 6.7. My cholesterol went up. And the uric acid went up. Then when I went the doctor akaniambia sasa baada nimevunja sheria amri ya daktari na kwa sababu hiyo ningependa utoke hapa upitie kwa nutritionist ili akwambie kile from now to April the 13th utakula na kile ambacho utakula sasa sikiliza haya ni trouble father francis nutritionist a very good lady young one aliniambia kaniambia father francis do you want to live long Of course I want to live long. Who doesn't like to live long? There are many bad things that you are going to avoid. Because these two things, also listen, everybody back and you are at the university. These two things, they are candidates that will lead you to diabetes if they continue rising. I tell you a pop out. So ni kama so akaniambia, do you want to be a candidate? No. Want to be healthy. Then you're going to avoid the following. Now what is sheria this time? Unaona daktari amekataa kukupa dawa. Amekwambia kwamba anataka uwe very disciplined. Ndio maana amekunyima dawa because anataka dawa utasema I have the medicine. Need a little bit of red meat. Sasa kaniambia Father Francis this is what you do. No sausages. <laughs> No bacon. No beef. No mutton. No lamb chops. Okay, I need other supplement kila siku. Sasa hii ni maneno gani? Nikao bia nutrition. Why? Other supplement kila siku. Can you know? Listen. But last year you fisted, isn't it? Uh, this year no fisting. Okay, the your graduation she do and I'm here. Now you'll be surprised what uh, she recommended. Nikao bia eh eh Okay. No blue bar. So I am telling you the truth. No blue bar. And then if you take milk, only the skimmed milk, about it means no cream and everything. Unaendelea bado yani ni report that you come here hapo. Father Francis, the hotels can be well now. Let us come to the essentials. Because all those no cheese no chips no chips no chips for three months no chips kwa sababu hiyo mafuta all right sasa ni nime sinyik i did not think of it forget that particular day nime sinyika moyo wangu kabia nutritionist eh 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 ni masai jinialo tena mna hii sawa akaniambia number one ukipata fish and especially no mena ndio nina recommend ukule <laughs> and I have never had to eat of it now. I will take the soup a little because I forgot to put acid in the cooker and I keep getting crashes. But I can hear that is the number one. Number one, I hope kwa mataka iko mena leo because I'm going to rejoice like in the then I can have a fish, then I can have a cereals which I was not so much used to eat, you know the beans and the and the, and the green grams and so on and so forth and then peanuts. Peanuts are very good to have positive cholesterol 
that actually will lower the other part of the list. Then we can be one. Those are the things that we So I am going to have to make a sacrifice in order to stay healthy. My dear students, we have to make a sacrifice of our sleep. We have to make a sacrifice of leisure in order to concentrate the four years, the three years, the two years, the one year remaining for the form for us so that we can acquire a healthy academic excellence at the end of the day. It's making a choice to make a sacrifice. I want after April 30th to feel nice and when I go to the doctor, in the root normal, equal normal, you get a distinction, amen? Barikiwe and be successful. Pasi pasi makusana sa 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 sinama.